God bless. We like to take our reading this morning from the book of Psalms and chapter 1. It says, Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Amen. And his law doth he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth, he shall prosper. Amen. I'd like to title this morning exhortation, Amen. A tree that's planted by the river. And we notice there's uh, many benefits of a tree that's being planted by the riverside or planted by the waterside, amen. Because a tree that's not by the waterside, uh, it receives its water source from when there's a rain or from the dew, amen. And But it will only receive it in seasonal time. When it's a rainy season, it will receive its source of water or it will go and it will feed from the water that's beneath. But a tree that's planted by the riverside, amen, in the time of drought, it's got the fountain of living waters right there. In the time of heat, amen, in the time of uh, a, a dry, barren season, this tree will be well fed. It will be well full, uh, uh, nutrition, full of life because it's getting its source from the rivers of water, amen. And even as in uh, Psalms 92, uh, David says, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree, amen. And those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God, amen. So there's one way that a plant needs to flourish if it's by the source, amen. If there's no source, there's, there's no depth, amen. If it's not on fertile ground, amen, that that tree will wither away, amen. It will not bring forth fruit. It will be in a dry, barren condition. And many times in our lives, we find ourselves dry and barren or we find ourselves stagnant or we not... We don't have the joy of the Lord like we used to have. Maybe because we moved away from that source, amen, from the source of the living waters. Even as in Psalms, David says, they shall bring forth fruit in an old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show the Lord is upright. He is my rock, amen. He is our rock. He is our salvation, amen. And he says, there is no unrighteousness in him, amen. We'd like to look at uh, an olive tree for an example. Do we see the olive trees when it's uh, it comes up in dry, barren ground? It comes up in rocky areas where other trees cannot survive, where other uh, herbal life cannot survive. But we see an olive tree. It 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 goes down and it roots goes way beneath the earth, amen, uh, uh, goes towards the water and starts pulling out that nutrition and the water from the ground that it begins to survive and it begins to blossom in the middle of the desert, amen. And many times we are likened unto trees, amen, even as uh, Jesus says in uh, John 15, amen, he says, he says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. Amen. That's so true this morning. Apart from Christ, we can do nothing. Even as Philippine, amen, tells us, amen, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Amen. This day, whatever we're facing, amen, we may feel like we bogged down. We feel held back, amen, but remember, amen, even as the Bible says, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens us this morning. And we look at this olive tree, it, it doesn't matter whether it's in a, a dry, barren land or a dry season, it doesn't matter whether there's drought, amen, it doesn't matter whether there's uh, no rain, but this tree, amen, has uh, 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 it's famous for 
producing life in the midst of the dry barren place and that's our children of God we can produce life amen you know the bible says amen he will make the desert to be fruitful amen and that's a god we serve and we look how prolific the olive trees were they growing amen bare hillsides with poor soils in dry condition full of sun where other herbal life will be withered away but the olive tree has ability to grow and bring forth life in the midst of the desert in the midst of its surroundings amen its surrounding doesn't determine amen its growth its surrounding doesn't stump its growth its surrounding the dry barren season doesn't prevent it from bringing forth fruit amen we see all of trees they are renowned for living thousands of years amen people eating their fruits amen from way back in bible days amen it was a sure way for humans to live long even now it says it's healthy to have olive oil amen it produces healthy life amen and we after years of research amen people found out that it's the most historic fruit and its oil has been proven to contain healthy fats which reduces cholesterol and all these heart diseases amen so there's a lot of significance to this olive oil amen to the olive tree we see in the bible they use olive oil amen to anoint to heal the sick and it says a greater symbolism is the fact that the oil was used in lamps as fuel soaking the wick amen to keep the oil amen even as the oil signifies the holy spirit amen and it says the olive oil kept to light the lamps in the tabernacle kept the lamps burning in the tabernacle and in the new testament amen jesus is known as a light of the world amen and so the olive is a intrigue to this metaphor in fact the olive in greek means to shine amen we see even in the old testament how noah he sent out the dove and it returned with an olive branch amen even as the bible says but this sign he knew there was a land again the dove and the olive branch became a symbol of hope amen now we know how this uh, olive trees can survive and even as david says amen we shall be like a, a tree that's planted by the rivers amen and we know that when a tree that's planted by the rivers is not depending on the seasonal rain that will come once in every season amen or maybe a few times a season but it's got it drinking from that fountain it's continuously drinking even as we many times we we hear the phrase amen an apple a day keeps the doctor away but amen i believe a message a day amen we read our bible pray every day will keep the devil away even as jeremiah 17 says blessed is a man that trusted in the lord amen and whose hope the lord he is amen for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters amen and that spread it out a root by the river and shall not see when heat cometh but a leaf shall be green and she shall not be careful in the year of drought neither shall she cease from healing a fruit amen and we notice that when the tree is by the water side amen the water doesn't come to the tree but the tree goes to the water it goes to the source it goes to its source of life the root goes way down and it makes its way to that fountain and likewise we got to be stay with the word of god amen even as the bible tells us blessed is a man that trusted in the lord trusting in the lord even if he says no amen trusting in the lord even if he says go in the opposite direction trusting in the lord amen even if it means going against all our own beliefs and our own traditions amen because his word is yea and amen even as the prophet of god says he says that's what's the matter with the church today the water supply is cut off it's because of our grumbling and doubting amen if you go into a desert amen we we find every bush that we come up against amen has thorns and thickets on it because 
it's raised in a dry barren land its environment is hot amen and its environment is it's there's no life in that type of environment but if you take the same variety of bush and put it in a moisture land put it next to the water amen it will be soft it will be lush because it gets plenty of water it's watering amen and when a, a child or the son of god is watered amen and washed by the watering of the word amen we become moisture in the word of god amen and it takes out the world from within us and even as it says and you take a church that's fussing and stewing about this and the days of miracles is past and so forth just remember amen just remember they in the desert and out of the water and a church that's humble and loving and flexible and feels and goes with the word of god remember they are living by the fountain that never runs dry amen even as david says blessed is a man who trusts in the lord amen and sitteth not in the seat of the scornful amen even as the first verse that we have read he says and walketh in the way of the sinner but his delight is in the law of the Lord and he shall be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water and whatever he doeth he shall prosper he shall not fail he will bring forth in its season amen like how david said he'll be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water amen that's the waters of life will this bride amen this bride tree in the last days where all the national branches have been pruned by the husband and now the spirit of god is living anew in the top of the tree which come from the heart of the tree amen we remember the fruit comes amen from the vine amen it comes from within you know it says grant it lord that we may bring forth much fruit amen and we even as in john 15 he says i am the vine you are the branches if you remain in me and i in you you will bear much fruit from me you can do nothing amen and even as the prophet of god says i will restore that original even as christ the, the bible says i will restore amen all things amen i will restore that original power again in the evening time it shall be light amen even as we living under the light the message of the hour in the end time amen he says down in the heart of the tree no matter how many branches is pruned off will come forth the royal seed of abraham amen in every age god has his seed that's come forth has his uh, uh, children have his lights that will shine through the dark ages amen even he says i will restore all the years i prune the very thing of and there will come a vine out of the heart of it he'll be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of the water a man that meditates in the word of god day and night amen not in creeds or denominations but meditates in the word day and night he'll be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of life and his branches shall not wither he shall be bring forth his fruit in season amen even as Hosea uh, uh, chapter 5 tells us amen in close he says I will be a dew unto Israel he shall grow as a lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon his branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon amen we know that when we a lily it begins to push forth amen in spite of his muddy conditions in spite of the dirt and the mud that surround it it begins to push forth amen till the life from within starts to bud till the life from within starts to come out and it shows his beauty amen even as through our conditions through our trials amen through our tribulations amen through this dark dying world amen let the light of god shine through us amen as we stand by the word amen we we'll be like trees that's planted by the water amen that bring forth 
the fruit of God in this end time. Amen. Shall we pray? Gracious God and eternal Father, Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. Lord, we bring this new day, Father, new life before you, Lord. Help us to be fruitful in this day, Lord. Bring forth your fruit, Lord. May you shine to us, Lord. No matter what the day may bring, Father, we come at every situation, every circumstances to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray and ask. Amen. God bless your saints.